right, welcome. Uh, welcome, we're gonna get started. Thank you for joining us live. If you have any questions or comments, just go ahead and, and comment below and I will uh, send a reply back or comment as we're going live here. Um, I have a couple of, of statements and I just want you to tell me which of these statements applies to you or which of these statements maybe sounds like you. Um, you're, uh, my pain is something that's, that's pretty basic about me and I can't change it much or I've lived with this for a long time and so it's very unlikely that it's ever going to change. Or maybe I'm a certain kind of person and so I don't really have much of an ability to, to change that. Um, or do, do these statements sound more like you? Um, I can always change the, the person or the kind of person that I am. Uh, or my, my state of health, I can change that. Um, even when it's a challenge, and I actually really look forward to the challenge of doing it. Now, those first three questions, the one that says my pain is something basic about me that I can't change much, or I've had this a long time and I can't do anything about it, those first three questions are based on what we'll call a fixed mindset. There's not much you can do about your personality or your pain. Um, the end goal is fixed. Maybe you can try lots of different things, but in the long run, you're still in the, the same place. This mindset plays itself out in so many places. In education, we may say things like, oh, I'm, I'm just not very good at math, or school's just hard for me, or I, I just know I'm not going to get very good grades. To our work, um, I have this skill, specific set of skills, and don't really ask me to do uh, anything else. That's not really my job description. Um, or at home, we may say things like, and, and this is something I think I've been guilty of, my fixed mindset, um, I'm not very good at opening up, and so, so you may just have to live with me not talking as much as you'd like for me to. Well, I promise you that didn't and doesn't still go over very well. This, this fixed mindset um, is a belief that who we are, our personality, our lives, is something that's a fixed thing that ultimately, ultimately really can't be changed. Now, this isn't like an evil thing or anything. It's usually based on life experiences, how someone has spoke, talked to you or, or taught you or encouraged you, usually is what develops these mindsets. Um, it's, not, it's not evil, but the problem is, is that this particular mindset, this fixed mindset, um, there's no real room for growth. You either limit yourself um, to whatever your fixed mindset tells you, or your world is completely rocked when you find out that uh, what you thought might not actually be true or accurate. So why am I telling you this today? Um, I'm telling you because sometimes when we're dealing with pain, especially when we're dealing with chronic pain, we can put up roadblocks to our success with this fixed thinking. Here's an example. Maybe we say something like, I just can't exercise. Exercise doesn't really agree with me. Or I'm just a bad patient. I really don't do what doctors tell me. Guys, this fixed mindset can really sabotage your success. It's like throwing a monkey wrench into your healing. It's as if you've already made the decision not to get better. I had a conversation with a patient recently and we were discussing the plan of action to correct and stabilize her problem. And when I got to that subject of exercise and that next really important step, she looked at me and said, well, maybe I'm, I'm just not all that good at exercise. Um, I understand that maybe there were some previous struggles. Um, I understand that you, maybe you've tried something and it didn't seem to work before, um, but if you believe that the struggle is something that you're stuck with, then you're gonna have much more of a problem overcoming it because you will always tell yourself that you can't achieve more. You can't say that I wanna feel better, but I don't wanna do what it takes to get better um, and, and this happens in, in a lot of different ways in people with pain. I'm gonna uh, give you an example of two people who are suffering with arthritis, and, and it may be easy to say um, for that, that fixed mindset person, I just have arthritis, so there's no cure, and I'm doomed to have pain forever. Um, but I do wanna tell you that in our office, we take care of a lot of people with arthritis and varying levels of arthritis, and there are some people with lots and lots of arthritis that actually feel really good um, so, so what's the difference? Um, in, in, in some people, when we're able to remove pressure off of, that, off of their nervous system with the adjustments that we provide, then eventually they're gonna feel better. But what does that even have to do with our mindset? Well, let's think about it for a second. If you feel that arthritis is a part of you 
and that you own it um, and that there's no cure for it so you can't do anything about it, then it's possible that you may not follow all the steps that you need to improve it. You may not keep up with all of your exercises. You may, um, stay, you may not stay committed to your schedule of care. You may decide that you don't want to take the nutritional changes that it takes um, to see your health change and improve because you're stuck because you feel you're destined to experience this pain forever, then maybe your identity is even caught up in this pain in some way. I encourage you to break this cycle. Um, I encourage you to begin to see your way out of this. You don't own your pain and you're not doomed to suffer it forever. There are two mindsets, and we've been talking about this fixed mindset. Um, and, and we're gonna talk in a moment about the growth mindset, and I'm gonna summarize it here. We'll go into more detail later, because this can have a profound impact on your pain and on your life. This growth mindset is a realization that, that anything can change, that each of us can grow and develop and become whatever it is that we need to be, um, that we can do whatever it is that we need to do. And um, So when a challenge arrives, um, if we have that growth mindset, we actually get excited and we see it as an opportunity for learning and for growth and we can't wait to get to the outcome where that fixed mindset person sees that challenge and automatically starts to hate it because again we already know what's going to happen and and we can't we can't do it because maybe it's it's math or swimming i've decided i hate swimming or i just can't do lower back exercises or don't take away my my bread whatever it is these fixed mindsets can completely paralyze you but that growth mindset that desire for that challenge that desire to be able to make that change and achieve the things that maybe you've never achieved before can give you so much more freedom than you've ever had. Um, I remember as, as a kid, this, this Bible verse that I heard, um, and every once in a while I need to remind myself of it uh, often, and it is, I, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Um, and it didn't say I can do all things except math because that's a challenge, or I can do all things but don't take away my brownies because I can't live without those. No, we can do all things. Um, I challenge you to open yourself to that growth mindset see the challenge and get excited because what's in store for you is great and I can't wait to see what that looks like for you. I'm Dr. Emil Tompkins and I look forward to seeing you beyond the pain. Have a great day.